Hi guys, welcome to the 60 day vlog. So it has been a hot second since I vlogged. I think it's been about a week, if not two. Um, there's a few different reasons for that. Number one, I literally have just completely forgotten to vlog because I started last week's vlog and then just never continued vlogging the entire week. And number two, I've been having some bad mental health days uh, recently. September is a tough month for me. Overall, there was some Deaths in my family happened a few years ago that um, I was traumatized by, so um, summer is the anniversary of that, and it's very hard for me. Um, and a few other things have gone on that I won't go into detail on that have brought my mental health down. But I am back, and hopefully this is the last break I'll take from booktube and vlogging in general for a while, so that's what's going on. Um, I don't have much planned this week because there really isn't much to do for obvious reasons. Um, Labor Day was this past weekend. I was working like crazy uh, because I work at a grocery store and everybody's buying cookout stuff and all that. And plus we're in such long point use as well. That was this past weekend. I start class tomorrow morning for the fall 2020 semester, which will be my final year in uh, my current university, uh, and I will be moving on, I'm getting my associates in December, I will be moving on to get my bachelor's in English, hopefully sometime in the fall of 2021. That was planned. Also, I have a, well, this is still in the process of planning, and I won't say too much here, but we may have some exciting things happening next spring um, to our family, which is really exciting. Um, I'll even talk more about that once things are set in stone, but really exciting has been happening uh reading wise i don't know what i want to read to be honest um i've just been so busy i haven't had time to read i have started uh star daughter which is the book club book of the month for chapter by chapter i'm um, like five pages into it so far so good though and then i want to start the green mile by stephen king this week because i'm doing a month-long reading project called Stephen King September. If you guys watch my TBR for September, which I'll link in the cards, you would know that I'm trying to read as many Stephen King books as I can in the month of September, and it's probably carry over into October as well because it's October spooky season. Um, so I'll be reading a lot of horror slash Stephen King in October as well, but I do want to make it a project in September because he is one of my favorite authors of all time. So I did this last year. I am doing it this year again. So I like to start the Green Mile. I also have on writing and the stand on my TBR, uh, obviously subject to change. I have a few other ones that are on audiobook that I could start as well. So we'll just see where the week takes us. Um, at some point this week, I've been putting this off for like three or four weeks now, ever since I watched Endgame. But I would like to watch Spider-Man Far From Home and finally finish this, uh, the MCU this week. Um, that's the final movie I have to watch as of right now. Besides the new one that just came out, which is, I can't remember what it's called. I'll put the name on the screen right here. And then uh, Black Window comes out in November, which I'm so excited for. Like, so excited. Um, so they finally caught up on all the Marvel movies, which is, again, very exciting. Endgame absolutely disturbed me. That's why I've been putting Far From Home off for weeks. I will link that vlog in the cards as well if you guys want to see my reaction to that. Oh boy, I was a hot mess after watching that movie. Uh, if you guys know or have seen Endgame, you know what I'm talking about. I won't spoil it for anybody who hasn't for uh, obvious reasons. So, but it made me cry. And movies don't make me cry very often. So, that is another plan I have this week. And other than that, maybe I'll jump it back into Avatar and finish that up. And finally finish Star Wars Rebels and watch The Mandalorian again. Or start The Mandalorian, I should say. I've watched one episode of it. We'll just, again, we'll just see where the week takes us. Uh, work is, again, all over the place. I'm also streaming on Twitch tomorrow. That's the only day I'm streaming this week because of life, life stuff going on, work being one of them. And uh, I have a party to go to on Saturday, which I usually stream on Saturdays after work. Uh, but I can't do that this Saturday. So I'll be streaming tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Twitch channel is linked down below if you guys want to join me. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday uh, starting the day you guys are seeing this vlog. So... That is the plan for this week. This has been a long intro. I did not mean to make it this long, but I kind of went off on a tangent. Anyways, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and just relax for the rest of the night. Probably watch some booktube, maybe some Netflix, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. So it is like 
8 30 at night i want to say um it's been a long day i've had a lot of stuff going on today because class has started for number one and number two i um how i put this because i don't want to give too much away but i had a family emergency basically that happened last night um everything is okay now but uh that happened that took up my brain for a good chunk of the day because of stress um and then i streamed on twitch today for a couple hours that was fun and that's about it i'm about to hop in the bath i haven't done any reading yet i think i'm going to start the green mile tonight um get a chunk of the way through this and we will go from there and then i think afterwards i'm going to finally watch far from home that is my plan so that is my update i will see you guys tomorrow with another one Hi guys, happy Friday. I feel like I haven't vlogged in like a million years. It's been like a few days, but I've been so busy. I just haven't had time to read or vlog or really do anything. So that's that. Um, today I went to work, worked 10, 10 to 2, came home, did some homework, then went on a Discord call with some of my uh, friends from Twitch, and then went to a party we had for my neighbor because uh, he is moving tomorrow and then one of our other neighbors it was uh, her birthday so we celebrated it together kind of sorta and then I came home I've been watching book two of ever since um and I don't plan on really doing any reading tonight not because I don't want to because I am watching more tv shows that I've re this is another rewatch I started House MD again which is a show I've been watching for years and I never finished the eighth season the final season so I'm finishing it up, then I'll finish Avatar, then I'll finish Rebels. We'll get there eventually, guys, I swear. So I'll probably be watching that for the rest of the night. I'm almost done with season one, so we'll probably get that done. But I did do some reading this week, um, so I did want to briefly touch upon that. I am 30 pages into The Green Mile by Stephen King. So far, I am really, really enjoying this, which I knew going in I was probably going to enjoy it. This is a book by Stephen King is very, very different than what he typically writes. Stephen King is obviously known for his thrillers and mysteries and horror novels. I have so many of them on those two shelves over there. Um, and he's one of my favorite authors of all time. This is a historical fiction, I guess you could say. It is taking place in the 1930s and it is following uh, basically this prison where... There is a row in the prison that is death row. Um, this is back when, you know, the electric chair was still around and execution. And we are following an inmate. Well, we're actually following a cast of characters, basically. Um, and there is an inmate that comes in who was falsely accused of murder of two young girls. And we are following his case basically and it is kind of timely I would say because the uh prisoner again who was accused of murder um is black and is you know kind of following him as he is kind of differently treated in the justice system than the white prisoners that are uh, on death row as well so it's following how he's being treated and how his case is being treated it's very eye-opening Obviously, Stephen King can't say from personal experience. He's not black himself, but it is, again, very eye-opening and very timely for today. And I heard this is going to make me cry um, at the very end. I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this book, as well as the movie adaptation. I do plan on watching that after I finish the book. It is, my copy is mass market, so it's over 500 pages. I know the regular edition is, like, a lot less than this, but I definitely can fly through Again, Stephen King is one of my favorite authors of all time. Every one of his books that I've read in the past, I have flown through. So I have a feeling that's going to be the case with this one. And again, I am doing Stephen King September, so I'm trying to read as many books by him as I can this month. So that's what's going on. Um, also, this weekend, I want to start outlining my NaNoWriMo project for this year. I actually had you guys vote on Twitter and Instagram. Link down below if you guys want to follow me. Um... If you wanted to see me write a new project or you wanted me to revisit one of my older projects, my fantasy or my contemporary novel, and you guys said to start fresh and start a new project, which I have already have a plan for, I'm going to start letting it probably tomorrow, if not Sunday. So 
that's what's going on this weekend. And again, I really hope to get a good chunk of this read as well. So that is my update for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow.